We're defending the right not to be forcibly put in the chair. We don't put ourselves in the chair. It's not our idea. It's your idea. You put us in the chair and then you say we have to play your tic-tac-toe game. Let's understand that it's tic-tac-toe high stakes. You're playing for everything. Life, death, suffering, misery, torture, torment. Real things are involved in this game we're playing. And we're playing it in a context that is preposterously stupid. You see how your fate is decided by what country you're born in, who your parents are, what level of prestige they have, or, or ownership in the society they have. All these things will decide whether you have good fortune or bad fortune. It will be decided by these things, not by your merit, not by your integrity, not by your work ethic, not by anything of meaning. Just silly, stupid, dumb luck decides most, the substance, 99% of the outcome is going to be dictated by that kind of bullshit, and that's just bullshit, and anybody with a brain should be able to admit that that's not a proper game. So if we really diagram the game of life, especially the game of civilized human, civilized, quote-unquote, joke-joke, ironic all over the place, because we aren't anywhere close to it, You'd look at the game and you'd say, I mean, you can metaphor it and try to undo the metaphor. I mean, it's a preposterous game. If it was soccer to the death and you decide who won by flipping coins or, you know, untying somebody's shoes or putting blindfolds on them and expecting them to go into the ring and box. I mean, if we did things like this and we created all the unfairnesses and all the preposterous nonsense that is in the game of life, all the good and bad luck, genetic code deciding whether you get cancer or not, all this other crap, this arbitrary crap that decides your fate. If we had any sport that was decided that way, you would see it as obnoxious. You would see it as ugly and, and abusive. You'd say, what is this? Are you gonna, you're gonna decide who wins and loses based on these silly, idiotic luck standards? spinning some kind of preposterous, sadistic wheel with good and bad fortune written all over it. And you're going to call that a sensible thing? You're going to let your kid spin that wheel? I mean, you do it. You do it because you're ignorant. You don't do it because you understand what you're doing. And so don't defend it. Don't sit there and tell me you made some conscious, rational choice. That you appreciated the risk. Because even if you acknowledge the fact that risk exists, you're likely one of these nihilist lunatics who doesn't think it means anything. It doesn't matter whether six million people die in, in, a, in a war, or six billion, or six trillion. It's all the same to you. You're just being too stupid, and you're being too stupid on purpose. You're not as stupid as you're being. You're just being obnoxious, and your obnoxiousness is making you pretend that you're too stupid and you'll say stupid things like it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah right sure it doesn't now that was probably enough not to be forcibly put in the chair there was something there that was really something valuable so i have to keep working to try to glean that value that was there <laughs>